Hello everybody, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to see AC voltmeter using a rectifier. So, in the previous video, we have seen DC voltmeter. So, what is the exact difference in between DC meter and AC meter? So, DC voltmeter are similar to the DC voltmeter, except the AC voltmeter have a rectification action. The rectifier is used to convert AC signal into the DC signal. After the rectification, it requires the amplification of DC signal. And finally, amplified signal, amplified signal are goes to PMMC to give indication. So the question is why this amplification is a necessary before the signal are applied to the PMMC. Actually, after the rectification, that means DC to DC conversion, generated signal are not sufficiently strong to apply it directly to the PMMC. In that case, it need to be amplified. That means it need to increase the strength of input signal. So that we get sufficient strong to drive the PMMC meter and we will get exact reading on meter or we will get exact indication. Now there are the two methods of designing DC voltmeter. First is AC signal is first rectified and then amplified. And second is AC signal is first amplified and then rectify. So let's start with AC signal is the first rectify and then amplify. So as shown in the in this arrangement, the simple diode is connected at the input side. This diode actually is used for the rectification. After that, the output generated from the diode it goes to the amplifier for the amplification process. So the working is the AC signal, the input signal, which is to be measured, is first applied to the rectifier. Here, that we have already seen, the simple diode is connected at the input side for the rectification. This diode is used for the rectification. Is there? It can be used to convert AC signal into the DC. The output generated from the rectifier, that is the DC signal, is applied to the DC amplifier. This amplifier is required because the signal obtained from the rectifier are not sufficiently strong to do directly to the PMMC instrument. So that before a signal applied to the PMMC, it needs to be amplified. The amplifier should have a very high sensitivity to measure the smaller voltage. The resistance RS, which is to be connected at the input side, indicates the input resistance. The output of the amplifier is connected to the PMMC instrument or meter. Next, AC signal, next step is AC signal is first amplified and then rectified. This arrangement is different from previous arrangement, previous step. In this method, AC input signal is first amplifier before the rectification. As shown in the figure, this is an AC amplifier and this is a negative filter. So how exactly it works? AC signal, which is a small signal, is amplified first and then rectifier after the sufficient amplification. AC signal is applied to the amplifier and hence AC amplifier is necessary. AC amplifier requires the very high open loop gate and large amount of negative feedback to overcome the non-linear non of the rectifier diode. The amplifier output is applied to this full wave rectifier. As shown in the figure, there is a two diode in here, diode D1 and diode D2. It provides full wave rectification. 
We know that the diodes are the non-linear device, the particularly at the lower end of the forward current okay, in this region. See, this is the DI characteristic of diode. Due to the non-linearity behavior, non-linearity behavior of the diode, the meter scale which is also non-linear and it is crowded at the lower end of the lower range fourth meter. So in this range or in this region the meter sensitivity is very low because high forward resistance of the diode. The dependence of the diode characteristic on temperature is also an important factor in AC voltmeter. The rectifier show the capacitance property under the reverse bias and tends to bypass the high red frequency. Now let's see the basic rectifier type of AC voltmeter. As shown in the circuit diagram, in this case for the rectification action the two diodes are used diode D1 and diode D2. This is an AC input signal, the signal which is to be measured. If the current passing to the diode is small, in that case there is a non-linearity problem. But for the higher current, the diode show linearity. So to increase the current passing to the diode, the resistance RCH RSH is connected parallel with the meter. RSH, it is a shunt resistance. So, now during the positive half cycle, the diode D1 is a forward bias so that diode D2 is a reverse bias. So, during this positive half cycle, the current passing only to the diode D1 and then to the meter and meter show the deflection. Now for a negative half cycle this diode D1 will be the reverse bias and diode D2 is a forward bias. In this case the current flow in a opposite direction and meter is bypass. Because of the diode action an AC input signal is converted into pulsating AC so that the meter show the average value of the input current. This is the basic rectifier type of AC voltmeter. Let's see half air rectifier circuit. Let's see half air rectifier circuit for AC voltmeter. As shown in the circuit diagram, here the AC input signal that is the voltage which is to be measured is applied as an input. This input it goes to the diode. After the successful rectification, the rectified signal are applied to PMMC instrument for measurement <coughs> or measurement for the indication. Here RM is a internal resistance of the coil which is used in PMMC instrument. RF is a forward resistance of the diode and RS is a series resistance multiplier. If the diode is operated in ideal mode, in that case in forward bias condition the resistance of the diode is zero, almost zero and in reverse bias case the resistance of the diode is in fact. Here, as we said, in forward biasing, the resistance of ideal diode is almost zero. But actually, it has some resistance, and the resistance is RA, that is forward resistance. So now, here, the series resistance multiplier is connected in series with the. So, what is 
the exact role of series resistance in, in this circuit. Actually, this series resistance is used in both half wave as well as full wave rectifier and it is connected series with the diode. We know that the diode is actually the non-linear device. That means it does not follow the Ohm law. If we have seen the VI characteristic of the diode, in that case, see, it is a VI characteristic of diode. We can see here this graph is non linear. See, this graph is non linear, that means it does not follow the Ohm law. Here, in this region, the resistance of the diode is very high, and after that, resistance is reducing, or we can say. At all the point, its resistance change at the all the point, so that the resistance of the diode, or we can say that the resistance of the diode is not constant. That means the diode property of the diode is a that means the diode is a non-linear characteristic device. So, what happened if we didn't connect? resistance in series with the diode in that case because of the non-linearity property of the diode the output from the output generated from the diode it goes to the PMU so because of this non-linearity we cannot find the exact value on this meter so to avoid this problem avoid this non-linearity problem the resist, uh, resistance is always connected in a series with the diode this resistance will help to make the characteristic of the diode is very much close to linear. We cannot say fully linear, but it is very much close to the linear, so that we can successfully measure the actual value on this instrument. This is the working of rectifier. So that after the rectification. The output generated from the diode it goes to the PMC instrument. Here, the current flowing to the meter is given by IM is the current flowing to the instrument. It is a ratio of voltage to the total resistance connected in the series, that is RM plus RS. Because of the inertia of moving part of the PMC indicates a deflection. Corresponding to, corresponding to the average value of current which is depends upon the average value of the applied voltage. The sensitivity of this instrument for the AC is 0.45 times the speed the sensitivity of the DC. 